the first attack against a champion crits. I mean, we got a bunch of pretty good options here. If you were innocent, okay, I looks like we're going to set. Or not against set, against uh, Kale for top lane. So, they've got a bunch of squishy champs on their team. Uh, minus the Leona, so... Honestly, pretty decent game to try out the uh, Lethality trend. We're taking Dark Harvest. We could also take Hill of Blades for the setup. But yeah, we're basically going to just uh, push and farm these first couple waves. Lethality trend is way weaker early game. But the mid game is uh, it's going to be pretty strong. New ward here. Let's see if I'm gonna get a little auto spin action. Oh, auto spin action. I can pull this wave all the way back here, too. That way, I have plenty of room to trade on Kale. Mm, only got one auto. If I could have gotten the spin, too, I've been sick. I'm trying to line up the, uh, the minion kill with the spin would have been ideal for a trade. So, still gonna max Q. And yeah, we're just gonna work on those like auto spin outs under turret. Once we get this kill to 50%, we can start farming her for a Dark Harvest too. And uh, we did take Ignite for this lane phase. So, we have a potential chance of just uh, straight up bursting. Uh, what? I guess my minions were outside turret range. Okay. Uh, we 100% want to fight this crap, right? I think he's just dead. My mid laner still doesn't know he's here. Alrium! <laughs> Alright. I don't, I don't know if my ping, maybe he's got pings muted or something. I don't know, man. I, I chased the, uh, I chased the Yi from my cure all the way, like, literally on top of him. <laughs> okay, well, we got an assist. We got a Dark Harvest proc. I'm gonna say worth. Um, Kel gets a shove in and probably reset here. But, yeah, I'm not gonna go and stop his reset. I'm not gonna bother. I'd miss too many minions going to stop his reset. For not much gain since I just used my ignite. Alright, so I'm gonna slow push this and then I'm gonna go back and honestly, chat. What do you think my first lethality item should be? Opportunity seems pretty insane. So maybe I can stack yeah, maybe like opportunity, and maybe I can go like Yomu's too. But I think Opportunity has like the old Yomu's passive of stacking Lethality out of combat for just big damage. An ally has been this seems pretty freaking good. And the move speed after a takedown seems pretty nice too. The new stone statue item is broken. Oh, Hubris? Oh wait, this is the permanently stacking damage one, right? With statues? Okay, maybe we do build that one. Because uh, I want to see what the statues look like. I don't mind taking a bad trade there. Because uh, guess what's going to happen now? The turret is going to attack me instead of my minions. I'm gonna say worth. We got all those minions lost. So it's free 11 AD on kill. Uh, I mean the only bad thing about this, I'm still gonna build opportunity first after reading it. The bad thing about the hubris is this is more of a team fight item because you gain um, the attack damage for 60 seconds. So like that's not really good. That's not deep. That's not good for laning. I could build this. 
the it's basically the old storm razor um passive on a lethality item this looks insane by the way dashes and stealth stack energize 75 percent faster yeah the kill has ulti and i don't you gotta respect that for now the statue seem permanent uh, you only gain the attack damage for, um, you only gain the attack damage for, like, after a takedown, though, for 60 seconds, even if the statues are permanent. Oh, no, they just got the Void Grubs. All right. Guys, if you are jungling in the new season and you're fighting these Void Grubs when they spawn, you're trolling. I think Void Grubs spawn at, what, seven minutes? You just, you have to be there. The Void Grubs are too strong. The Void Grubs add bonus structure damage on attack. And if you get all six Void Grubs, you spawn... Or if you get five of the six Void Grubs, you spawn little Void Mites. Which add a lot of turret damage on Sieges. Oh, they spawn at five minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, you always gotta, always gotta set that up. I die here, but guess what? The Kale loses all these minions, so it's 100% worth. 100% worth. Mm, how much does, does CDR boost still give? Yeah, still gives the summoner spell haste too. Might go CDR boost this game. Instead of Zerks. Because one, I don't have Zerks gold right now, and I want the move speed. I want any kind of like advantage I can get for early game. Stack up to Dark Harvest really nice. So, by the way, I have haste here. But also, kill ulti level 1 is longer than trimmer ulti. So, I'm going to be able to dive this kill insta basically again. Like, as soon as I get my ult, I dive the kill. And no counterplay for her since she didn't have ult. Since I have CDR boots, I'll be getting my summoner spells back faster too. So that'll be pretty nice. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna set up this wave to slow stack towards the kill. I'm gonna dive instantly with ult. So you see how I kind of even out the wave on both sides. So now this is gonna slow push, and I'm not gonna crash this next wave, but the wave after in the turret. So I'm gonna crash it with uh, the the ulti coming back up. So yeah, any damage I can get on kill here can make the dive a lot easier. Wow, that spin really didn't connect, huh? Man, spin would have been big, big boy damage there too. But yeah, literally just can the auto attack helps too. So yeah, now I can just dive kill. Gonna, I'm gonna Q, rebuild Fury, and these minions have to kill anyways. And then, yeah, kill's just dead. I'm gonna ward here. So it looks like kill, reset. That's fine with me. Ask me guys how much I care. Killed the kill again and had to bring the uh had to bring the Leona up top to even counter it. So once I get my my opportunity, by the way, once I kill the kill, I'm gonna gain 150 boost speed on that kill. After being out of combat with champions for 8 seconds, so I can still stack up my Fury and minions, I gain Lethality. So yeah, and Lethality is, it's got the snowballing mechanic back. So Lethality is like way more useful like when snowballing a lead than before. I can get Profane Hydra? Oh yeah, there's the new Hydra with Lethality too. 
A lot of ability haste on Lothalvi setups, to be honest. So, haste is really nice. So, I want to build that item, and I want to build the statue item. So, maybe I do build Profane Hydra next. In fact, I probably could have built Profane Hydra first and had the team up to help farm. That could have been nice. Although, being able to control the wave like this is really good, too. So, they got all the Void Grubs? Jesus. A jungler not paying attention to the timer. Oh. So they literally have their entire team top lane, by the way. How do you know when the Void Grubs are up? I mean, you could just press tab. I don't know. How do you normally tell when Impact is up, man? So I guess our whole team came up for the Void Grubs and is getting top right after. Oh my god. Alright, well, I'm about to get another straight dirt. So my KDA is bad, but every time I've died, I've basically taken kill with me, minus that last death right there. My jungler is getting completely outclassed, like super fucking hard by the Yi. But uh, I think Shaco. Oh, wait, he went Dark Harvest, he didn't go Hail. That's weird. But yeah, I think the Shaco will outscale Yi for mid game. But if Yi gets the late game uh, with the new items, oh my god, that champion's gonna be a broken. Because Yi can get Wits End for its tenacity too, for, like any of our CC, which honestly, uh, we don't even have much CC in our team. That's rough. Mm. We have FFX go next? Yeah, I don't know. Is Tima active still drop attack speed like by 90% for a few seconds? Uh, I don't know, it has no sound. I, know, I haven't really built Tima that much. I built Titanic the other game, but I didn't feel anything wrong with it. With Titanic. Your turret has been destroyed. Is it bugged right now? Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to re-record the uh, Othaldi thing. We had, we had a couple fans in the enemy team. Be a Just fine, I'll beat them in the mix game. Yeah, let's kill this guy. Nice little move speed to get out of turret. So Kel didn't have ulti since he used it um, when the E came up earlier. Hmm, what's he have? Haunting guys who go Landry's? Oh, he's got Seeker's Arm Guard, too. So, is this the base of the new stopwatch? You could just buffer Leona's E like that and just instantly get out of it. That way she can't even land the uh, stun in your after. So, what are we trying? Go for her. We could get Yomos too, and this could help, like, give, give us the ghosting effect to kill the Kale in the turret. That sounds pretty good to me. An ally has been Alright. We 
get this for it here. Profane Hydron set? What's the active do? What's this? So, deal 129 to nearby enemies? Okay, so like, the, the little splashes on the ground was the Profane Hydra? That's kind of sick, to be honest. Wait, how much lethality can you get now, by the way? This seems like a lot. Also, maybe I build, um... I build a collector next, a little extra crit. Yeah, the effect looks really cool. What's up, Vec? I'm doing good, man. I'm testing out the new season of League. Wait, did I see that right? This plant only dropped three fruit? What the hell? The low health... Yeah, it looks really cool for sure. So I have 15 Billy Haste my up just from CDR boots. What's the item on the three slot I have? It's a uh, opportunity. I'm gonna bother here. I think uh, I think Cyborg's working. I am your worst nightmare. So we got Leona for sure top with Kale. I can one v two that and still kill Kale. So let's get collector, and then maybe we can build the Huber, the heroes. Well, actually, I don't know. Should I build this? The only thing is, I don't get the lethality from this item. Oh, actually, yeah, this this is the lethality. A hundred bonus physical damage. Attack damage lethality haste seems pretty good. Oh, close. Killed me through my ult. Bro. Oh man, why, why is what what item did it? Was it this? Who killed me? The Leona killed me, right? Leona's Q? Was it ulting and dying in the same frame? Bro, you can't ulti and die in the same frame. If you cast your ulti, you don't die. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, like, let's do this. Next custom, let's not do, uh, no Leona, just because there's a clear bug with Leona and turned ult, I think. I don't know if it was this item, the Zeke's, or, or what actually killed me, or maybe, yeah, maybe Leo passive, I don't know, or something there, because Leo killed me there, right?
enemy is legendary. Enemy Okay, it's the item. Enemy triple kill. The the item is killing me during my ult. The no, there's no delay in turn ult. The Zeke's the Zeke's item is killing me during my ult. So actually it's not a Leona issue. Is that a rounding error? What? No, it's just the the fifty damage per second from the storm, Frostfire Tempest on Zeke's is killing me. So, yeah, it does 50 damage per second. All right, that's pretty lame, to be honest. Just both collector. This will be a slaughter. Do the buffs still transfer when they are killed? Do buffs still transfer if they're killed? I am your worst nightmare. Oh, like red buff, blue buff? Yeah. So is this doing a uh, pure damage instead of magic? Is that what's going on? Because pure damage is what can kill me through my ult. Actually, we want this item, right? What fertilizer? This item seems insane. Maybe I should build this first instead of the opportunity against Kale. She can get away from me with that. I've said it multiple. Wait, haven't I answered a question three times now, real Finn? It gives moose speed and uh, actually without the old young moose passive. So it's like moose speed on on champion kill or like if you damage champion in the last three seconds. Oh. Hey, Hurts, thanks for a tier 1 sub for two months, man. Dude, I love that I'm able to, like, kind of, like, test a bunch of different item builds, you know what I mean? This kind of appears to kill. So is this every auto for her? Your turret has been destroyed. Your turret has been destroyed. An enemy has been slain. Someone said it crits on every Nash or Sato? What if, what if that item, 